It was one of the most thrilling moments in the show. Apollo is flying through the Ionian Nebula, ready to do battle with the Cylons, when suddenly Starbuck's Viper, which he had seen destroyed a few months before, appears next to him. Scenes like this are ruining the field of amateur astronomy. Amateur astronomers take out their telescopes and show the night sky to the general public, and almost always after looking through a telescope, the average person will look up and say, Uh, is that it? I blame the Hubble Space Telescope. The pictures you see through the Hubble are not what you would see if you were actually out in space. The cameras in the Hubble Space Telescope are more primitive than the ones in your cell phone. The cameras don't even take colored pictures. Most Hubble Space Telescope images you see are actually three black and white pictures taken through different colored filters and combined in a computer to look like a color image. Most glowing nebulae give off the pinkish red glow of ionized hydrogen. By using different filters, the Hubble Space Telescope can block out the red of hydrogen and show up the various greens, yellows, and golds of other ionized elements. But even that doesn't matter. The human eye is practically blind to colors when they are very, very dim. And a nebula is very, very dim, even when you're in it. So why were Apollo and Starbuck flying through glowing pastel clouds? Because it's a television show, and that's what we expect. We've grown so used to Hubble Space Telescope images that when we see a nebula in space, our attention would have been unnecessarily drawn away if it didn't look the way we were expecting it to look. The point of Battlestar Galactica is to tell a story, not to be a scientific documentary. If it works better in terms of interest and excitement to have Starbuck emerge from a colorful cloud in a giant nebula, that's what they're going to do. It's time to evoke, once again, the first law of the science of Battlestar Galactica. Repeat to yourself, it's just a show, I should really just relax.